that the taxes that the previous administration imposed were heinous and they were very uh, draconian. And so we were going to reduce taxes in order to focus on production. I'm sure that's all we all heard. Um, as we speak, the finance minister has not been definite as to whether he's going to increase taxes. But as we realize, some of his closest aides have been speaking and they are trying to drop hints about a possible increase in taxes. Question now is whether those taxes would whittle away some of our basic economic freedoms. Already, um, we're having challenges with even paying for fuel and paying for certain services. I, I believe the biggest mistake the government will make is to increase even 1% of VAT on, for free SHS. We should not allow this government to increase any tax in order to support free SHS because they were warned and advised that there were people who could pay for their own uh, wards and that the best thing to do was to do means testing and identify those who can pay so that they'll free resources in order to invest in other areas of education. It is mortifying to see students lying, hanging around like lizards in schools and ants. What you do need, you don't need a 1.2 billion CD uh, uh, bill for free SHS when you have not planned for it. And nobody asks you to do that because you were given the alternatives. So I totally, in money, is against any increases in taxes, especially going to some of the freebies that were promised without any proper means testing. So we don't want that because it's going to add to the burdens already Ghanaians feel. Um, if you look at the fact that the way the wastage in the system alone, because this government also suggested that there's a lot of waste. If you look at the waste in the system alone, if you look at the collusive contracts that are being signed, multi-million dollar contracts that are signed without tender documents that we do not know, the values of these contracts that have been, uh, uh, how do you call it, um, the values have been blown up in proportions that is not known. And you are looking at a deal like Kennedy GVG, which will cost about $200,000 but we are going to pay $178 million to an unknown entity. That's a lot of money that can be saved to do other significant stuff. Look at the four fraud. Four fraud alone was costing us almost 1.2 billion cities. You, you cannot be asking for more money when you know how to plug these loopholes.